Hello and welcome back. And if this is your first time here, welcome in. So what we're going to do here is go over um, just doing a basic white glitter. So I just spray painted this cup white with just some flat white spray paint, um, acrylic paint, whatever kind of paint you have, it would be fine. Um, I, all I'm doing here is prepping it with epoxy. So I did a little bit of a mix of epoxy and I was putting epoxy on other things and then I took it and put it on this before that and then I come back so I let it sit for just a little bit um, just to kind of even out make sure you know we've got a nice cover on the, that epoxy so then I am taking special editions a special edition flurries from a peach olive glitters it is a absolutely stunning white um, I did accidentally when I was doing the rainbow tumblers I was doing this one at the same time and I got just a tiny bit of different little bit of colors in there but that's okay because why it's okay is because we are going to be doing a full wrap on this and I figured somewhere some way it will probably either wrap it up or it won't show that much or whatever so anyway so what I'm doing is I let that cure I put that coat of epoxy doused it in the white uh, special edition flurries glitter and then I let that cure for probably six hours or more probably the day I waited and then the next day I did it kind of thing and then I went in with a coat of epoxy and then I am going to go in with another coat of epoxy right after this because we don't want to have any kind of bumps or uh, if I had to do any kind of sanding or whatever, because this whole wrap that I'm going to be doing is a clear wrap. It's got the white wherever the um, stripes are and stuff, but then it's clear everywhere else. So we definitely want a full, nice, beautiful, clear coat before we do this wrap. And there it is all done. Just kidding. <laughs> So I wrapped it just to see kind of like, because this cup, and this is the only reason why I like to do, use these types of cups because the, this is the 20 ounce skinny. So it's not a straight. So as you can see, it kind of has a taper to it. So when I have these big sheets of 12 by 12 vinyl, you can just wrap the whole thing and you don't have to worry about it being straight, even whatever, like you are going to have enough room to kind of let it go up and down the tumbler wherever it's going to go because it's not a full straight tumbler right so i hope that makes sense but um that's why i just th these are just so easy to do um that's why i don't have very many of these left but i've been keeping them just for like types of things like this like the beach tumbler or uh, milky way or something that does not require that perfect straight you know roundness um, you can use those tumblers for if you do you know happen to have some sitting around and you're like what am i going to do with these this is what you can do with them so as you can see there i used my pink bowen uh, squeegee thing that i got from my friend rachel it is the best thing ever on this planet. And if you do not have one, you better go and get one right now. It will change your life whenever you're doing wraps. I mean, my gosh, it's so easy. You just, and it goes right around. There's hardly any bubbles other than just the fact that it's vinyl and you're wrapping it and it's going to have bubbles. But it's just not as nearly as many when you're trying to do a small squeegee and just kind of squeezy down this way, this way, this way. This one just gives you a full, solid pull you know over the over the tumbler so i did have to end up cutting a little bit of that vinyl off of the bottom it was just too thick for me to get a good coat um i mean a, to get a good like base down into that cutter there so um i did kind of have to trim that off and then once i got it trimmed it was fine i got a, a perfect um cut right there at the bottom and I was fine with you know this not being or this being like a straight on the back side sometimes the design just allows for you to have kind of like a front and a back you know it's like I don't think it really causes that much of a distraction to have you know animal stripes you know maybe cut down the middle or or you know uh have that flaw I guess on the back I think it, I think it looks fine um when you have just such a straight clear design here um 
I think it works okay. But anyways, I did pick up a little bit of that uh, vinyl there and pulled out that underneath piece so that we have a nice, smooth, you know, meeting in the middle uh, situation there with the vinyl so that way uh, we don't have any bulk at the back. I did add a clear sticker for my um, logo on the bottom. I just figured since I was since I had a really nice clear, um, you know, v uh, cover. I mean, uh, good grief, um, base to put the everything on. I figured that was the time to put that on as well. So I did go around and pop any of those bubbles. I just used my exacto knife and just kind of sliced them. Uh, and pushed out that air there was probably there were guess there was a little bit more than I thought there were in the very beginning but um you know it's it's, it's hard when you're doing clear and it's on white it's really hard to see but I just wanted to make sure that I didn't have anything uh, that was uh, causing any problems or that would you know appear later on in the design and once again, because I'm just touching this all over and wrapping it and you know and f messing with it and um I did have some cuts here and there from, you know, uh, cutting those air bubbles or whatever. So I just went ahead and covered it with a coat of Mod Podge. I figured that would be the best thing to make sure that I get a really nice clear coat for that next coat of epoxy. So this this vinyl here came in the box with Peach Yellow Glitters, the Misfit Makers box, right? So there's a couple boxes back. And they came with some... Uh, decals but I just was not feeling them I don't know why I just it just wasn't really so I pulled out my uh, these are my two little like divider file looking things or whatever that I have and I just keep my decals in there and I've just labeled them however you know western mama whatever i mean just anything that i you know makes sense to me i guess and this would be something that you would do like you know inspirational or you know water and sand and sea or you know whatever that kind of stuff so i decided um i really liked this mama because i thought the colors weren't really well but i went in and just kind of made sure that i wasn't missing anything um i had some other designs and that was one of them that came in the in the package and I was just I just wasn't feeling those so I went ahead and decided that that was the decal that came in the box and that was like I just didn't want to do it so anyways I went ahead and decided to go with this mama one and it is a little bit more of um you know, the same type of colors. And I thought that was kind of cool. So it does kind of blend in a little bit more than maybe, I don't know, maybe you would normally like. But other than that, I think this was the best option, I thought, for uh, the look of this whole tumbler. So I was finding the back side there, making sure that we were exactly on the other side of that line that we created on the back. And um, I thought that because this had a little bit of that uh, leopard print on the sides there, I thought it'd be kind of cool to go with that zebra tiger stripe look. So um, these are really cool because they're already printed. They're ready to go. I'm not 100% sure where I got this. I will try to find it and tag it. But this was just something more about the wrap and um, the glitter and that kind of thing. But um, this decal was really cute. I thought it went really well with the colors and, um, you know, kind of the feel of this design, or, you know, just the vibe that it was kind of going. So I, um, I was able to put this on the tumbler and I don't have to go around... I don't have to seal it or anything because it is already sealed. That's what I love about these decals. And um, these, this is white print backed. So the white, like around the little circle and those um, leopard spots and the mama part is all printed and white. And then the ink is printed over it. So it can go on pretty much anything. And after that, I mean, we're pretty much done with this design, right? So I'm going in with that final coat of epoxy. I for sure need to go and do a little bit more sanding and put a final, final coat on here. But for the most part, this design is done. Like we have done all that we can do for this, I think. And it is a cute, beautiful 
pastel mama tumbler. There she is. So pretty. I just, the colors are gorgeous. This design from Misfit Makers was gorgeous. Um, I really loved the combination of, um, the, I, I like just pulling in all those like just pastel you know colors into this animal print it just softens it up so much i mean could you imagine if this was black it would just be so harsh so anyways i love this but please like and subscribe and comment down below let me know what you think and um i'll see you next time <music>